Do you have vertigo symptoms as a result of ear crystals? Well, you're in the right place. My name's Amy, I'm a vestibular PT, which means I treat vertigo, dizziness, and balance disorders. This is part six of my BBBV series where I tell you in detail how to test for BBBV and determine which ear is the affected side. If you see a question on the screen that you would like answered, go to my page to the playlist entitled BBBV and select the corresponding part. This video is going to walk you through a basic test that can be done at home to see if you have BBBV that involves the most commonly involved ear canal, 98% of cases, and to determine which ear, right or left, is the affected side if you have this very basic type of BBBV. It goes without saying that a trained professional such as a doctor, an audiologist, or physical therapist can perform this procedure with real-time modifications, assessment, and clinical decision-making, thereby making it medical advice and treatment. Furthermore, there are other types of BBBV which are less common and more difficult to treat, which this test does not test for. Those types of BBBV will definitely require skilled assistance by a professional. This video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered medical advice or to take the place of medical treatment. The test is called the Dix-Hulpike test. The Dix-Hulpike test is used to test for the presence of free-floating inner ear crystals inside the posterior semicircular canals, a condition known as posterior canal BPPV. In order to perform a Dix-Hulpike test, one thick or two thin pillows and a bed are needed. The person will sit in the bed with their feet outstretched in front of them and the pillow or pillows behind them right up against the small of their back. The person will then turn their head about halfway to one side, then lay back, tipping their head backward over the top of the pillow. The pillows should be thick enough so that the ears land below the level of the person's shoulders. The part of this which makes it a test is the next 20 seconds. While the person is lying in the position for the next 20 seconds, they will be observed for vertigo symptoms and rapid repeating eye movements called nystagmus. If the person has vertigo symptoms and nystagmus, which last less than 30 seconds, it can be assumed that they are positive for BPPV of the posterior canal in that ear. Turning the head to the left and laying back tests the left ear. Turning the head to the right and laying back tests the right ear. If the person does not have vertigo symptoms or nystagmus during this testing window of 20 seconds following the laying back motion, their vertigo is likely from other causes. If you like this educational content and want to learn more about dizziness and balance disorders, hit that follow button.